How's it going, Tycopa family? Mulato Sly here, and first of all, I want to say that I am actually very, very sorry that I did not upload the video on Wednesday, but I'm going to make up for you guys, and I'm going to upload this Friday, basically today, and I'm going to upload another video on the weekend, and it's going to be Sunday. Now, I think I'm going to change my schedule because I'm not sure why, but I can't keep up with the Wednesday day because it's during the week, and it's also because it's week, it's Wednesday and Friday. The problem I ha I'm having is because of college. The college is taking a lot of my time, and the time I'm free, I'm or studying, or I'm actually just sleeping, which is very frustrating for me. I think I'm going to change the schedule. So I want you guys to vote right now. Click this I and tell me what days do you guys want to see a video. Click this eyes and the two days with the most votes are going to be the days I'm going to upload. Now with this all out of the way, let's just kick it off straight into the video. This was the video that was meant to be last week's, but I put it a lot of effort into this one, so that's the reason it stayed out for this one. Hope you enjoy! Okay guys, so as you can see by the title, today's video is going to be between a speculation slash a discussion because this topic is actually something that we don't get as often or actually we don't get at all in the Sly Cooper series now we have a lot of theories and speculation about Mr. and Mrs. Cooper however since day one we have no clue about the mother of Sly we didn't know the daddy, we didn't get a face as well, only Sanzaro Games decided to add a face and the name Connor to it. But let's recap the game series and see what we can find about the mom, basically. Now Vivi made a video about this, I'm going to put my thoughts on, on this topic as well. Let's see how this goes. Now, as we all know, at the moment Sly is stuck in Egypt, but before all the cliffhanger, we go back to his childhood. As I said, I said this before in a, in a video, Sly being a, a child of a master thief and having a master thief family, it's a lot of pressure and a lot of big feels to shoot. However, he's been keeping up with the job and he's actually mastered a lot of the techniques, if not all the techniques in the book, making him the legendary thief as I mentioned in this previous video if you didn't watch that if you want go watch it now something keeps bugging me as we all know he's a rival he has a rival family which is clockworks family basically the psycho owl but one thing that Sly says when Clockwork busts into his house is this. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us. Fought to protect us. As Sly said, his father fought to protect us. But before we keep moving forward, this video was meant to be uploaded Friday. But I'm going to be honest, guys. This video is now going to be uploaded today, which is a Saturday. But it was the holidays and now my girlfriend is with me so she's going to tag along in the video because she actually found this idea very interesting so I'm going to let her speak this part and I'm going to cover the rest hello everyone I'm Wafi and I'm here to talk about the mom theory so there is a moment in the video where he said my father fought to protect us and this us means what Sly and dad or Sly and mom or even the three of them if his dad is divorced or mom is not home when they killed his father, then it means she's alive? Or what if she died when Sly was only a baby? That's what we are here for, to try to discover this. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. I was dumped at the town orphanage. If both parents are dead, then please answer me this. I was dumped at the orphanage. By who? Don't make this be like Auto Train Your Dragon 2 where the mother was alive the whole time and became a Dragon Master. The night of the attack we see some pictures that really catch the eye of the player. Joseph is going to go deep in the photos. 
Now, the first ever picture we see, it's a portrait of Sly, Mom and Dad. But I'm not going to cover that right now. I'm going to let you guys look at the picture I'm posting right now on the screen. Which is Sly on his lap, Sly sitting on Daddy's lap. As you know, Sly is using the cane of his father. And his father died trying to protect us. Now, I'm still not sure what this us means. Because the dad could be divorced of the mom. That's maybe the reason we never see his mom. We only see this portrait of a mother. At least we know she, he has something right now. At least that's the thing. But when we look at this portrait, we see Sly very happy. But still, he's very, very small. I'm not sure if the time gap between this portrait and the time of the events is huge. But it doesn't seem that huge. But this was for Sly 1. When we go to Sly 3... We see two extra portraits when Sly is opening the closet. We see a portrait that really, really, really makes me think about McSweeney. As we know, Sly is dead at the gang with McSweeney and daughter M. And looking at this picture, we see a fatty. I'm, not, I'm just gonna say, we see a fat guy with teeth. And he is definitely McSweeney. The resemblance is just huge. But on this portrait, McSween is still with the two thieves. But yeah, I did a comparison on the other video where I said that McSweeney something went down between the gang and then he lost the thief on a fight against the gang basically. But I'm not going to cover that. Now the main, main, main photo I want you to guys to look is this. We see a raccoon and the character next to it, it resembles a fox. And what I mean by a fox, I'm not sure if Carmelita is involved in some way, what connection does Carmelita has to all of this scenario, but what if Connor, Connor's wife was actually a fox? But the thing is, I'm going to cut myself here because it cannot be a fox, because when we look to this other picture of the Japanese version, we definitely see this girl. And this girl doesn't seem like a fox because when we look to Carmelita side by side with this other girl, even though we're not seeing the face, we definitely see this guy, this girl actually, is not a fox. We can, there's simply the resemblance. I mean, this fox that is on the portrait may be a relative of Carmelita, but it may not be affiliated with Sly. Maybe it was just a crush, Sly's dead head, and then I'm not sure, I'm not sure guys, I'm not sure really. That's pretty much what I got, guys. I'm going to leave you all to discuss this in the comments. Because it's actually very, very weird what happened here. Because my main problem on this entire theory is who dumped Sly in the orphanage. Because he was broke, of course. But a kid will not wander around. Like, it will not happen. This is not Bentley scenario. This is not just Bentley scenario. But anyway, guys, let's just go and conclude this stuff. Okay everyone, hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm not lying, this video took me a while to make yeah. because this video was going to be uploaded Wednesday, but then the holiday kind of kicked in and now I'm with this monkey for the holiday. And my hair is all random because yeah, yeah it's holiday. Yeah. You want to say something? Bye, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your own thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. And make sure you click the I to vote the days that I'm going to upload because... I think I'm going to change the schedule. And with this all out of the way, I'll catch you guys next time.